from time. Do I need something to be quieter? Probably, yeah. So shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Who's in there? It's the outside. Just people. All the people excited to see you. Huh? It's everyone that's all like excited to see you. I had a rough time tonight. Did you? I feel good about it. Oh, I need to. Like, I would have come out. I was just like, I need to cry a little bit. Oh, you're so adorable. Good? <laughs> Did she do it? Thanks, B Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, count me down, girly. Is it, are we good like this? I'm, yeah, for I'm already recording, so you have to play something later. Oh, no! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> ready? Yep. <laughs> We're so professional, clearly. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. I'm sitting here with Grammy nominee Mary Lambert, who's rocking the unicorns tonight. Yeah. Double <laughs> unicorn and rainbow. <laughs> it's like rainbow. I mean, but it's like cool. It's like futuristic. Right. Rainbow unicorn. And you know what, girl? You are the future. Did you know that? <laughs> you are a rainbow <laughs> unicorn. That's what they say. <laughs> Mary Lambert, the rainbow unicorn master. <laughs> You're so adorable. Thank you. All right, well, clearly I've seen your shows and how everyone cries at them, and it's so cute. Like, do you cry on stage and you get like tears of joy from how you're connecting, or do you cry with your songs and the sad ones? It really depends. Like, there have been times where I'm crying because I feel insecure and I'm like channeling it into the song, which is really healthy, I think. But um, there are times when I'm just really connected to, to an emotion or a certain song that I wrote. And, you know, because there, um, I have a couple songs that have, have to do with sort of like, you know, long distance love and, um, and dealing with that. And so when I'm on the road for a long time and it's in my head and I'm like, I've been gone for so long. And then I cry <laughs> and then I get it out. And then it feels like I had just like one giant hug with everybody. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> well, I'm gonna switch topics a little bit okay. because um, my show is all about like girly stuff and Good. fashion and stuff. Perfect. So, what is your staple? Would you say in your style? I see the red lips red, appear red a lot. Lips, red lips are pretty common. Uh, flats. I only wear flats because I broke my ankle. So, oh. from like I broke it like two years ago, and I had surgery, so I can't wear oh, heels. No. So, I mean, I'm I, every time I look in my closet, I go, oh, God. I because I can't get rid of them. Like I love them because I can wear them for like ten minutes. Anyway, shoes aside, um, so, <laughs> I'm skinny jeans, mm -hmm. but I love florals. That's what I'm really into wearing, like for dresses and things mm -hmm. like that. I love florals. I love anything that uh, that goes well with red lips and is like sort of a fit and flare. <laughs> You're so cute. I can't get over this. <laughs> so go to the Grammys. Reflect on that for me. How was that with like Madonna and Jennifer Hudson and all that jazz? It's pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. It's so I, I always sort of liken it to the idea of getting married. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it was a wedding, but I think also, <laughs> like, you know, you get sort of, there, you spend months sort of preparing for this one moment, and, like, as it's happening, you're just sort of, like, just have to take one thing at a time, and you don't get to quite and totally enjoy it the way that maybe everybody else does. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if I, I've ever totally processed what, is, what has happened. Like, I, I, watched the, I watched the video twice. I watched, I watched the performance twice, and both times, like, wow, it's pretty good. Remember that happening? Like it's just sort of it's all blur, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you sing your own songs in the shower? <laughs> when I'm practicing, <laughs> but um, sometimes, like when I was making the record, I would. No, this is a good song. Sometimes I'd be like walk well, here in my house, like Kanye, go, "This is the best shit I've ever made." <laughs> yes, <laughs> you were too cute. <laughs> well, let's get serious. Last right. question, so yes. I don't take up too much of your time. Um, for people that have been like abused when they were younger and possibly going through the same things that you've gone through, how do you connect them to your songs? Like, do you like hope that they're obviously very easily connectable? If that's if that makes sense. Yeah. Easily connectable. Let's easily. make that a word. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bottom line for uh, my writing is just uh, is exercising vulnerability, and so for me, um, vulnerability is sort of the pathways to empathy. And through empathy, I think we find human connection in each other. And so to me, um, I think people find healing in a myriad of ways, but I, I know from the emails that I get and, and from the response I get, people are often very deeply connected emotionally to my music. And like, wow, you know, you helped me get through my eating disorder, you helped me come out. And I think that can be taken a couple ways. And for me, I have to make sure that it, it doesn't become a savior complex where I'm like, yes, I did good, I saved your life, I'm so great. <laughs> like, because if you take that, then you also have to take the bad for the people that are like, you know, you're not tweeting me back, I'm gonna mm -hmm. kill myself. 
else. Like, I can't, that's all you. Like, that's all, that's all somebody else's thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm so happy to be a catalyst in someone else's process. So I'm, I'm always grateful to be part of someone else's journey and their healing. And, um, and hopefully, yeah, people take away uh, you know, vulnerability. Oh yeah! Yay! Well, good luck on your tour and all your future endeavors. You got a new CD coming out in August. I mean August, October, <laughs> right? Okay. It's you know past August. It's okay, it's, it's called Secrets, right? Yes, yeah, Secrets is the single, and then the album is called Part of My Sleeve. Part of My Sleeve. October fourteenth. Yeah, go get it, guys. Well, thanks, Mary, for hanging out with Thank us. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> Yay!